laughing in court and smiling at his own videos in court, um, specifically the videos that were taken immediately after the homicide when he was clashing. The guy that shot X was laughing while those videos were being put in the courtroom. The trial for the three men that killed X got even more cringe. Towards the end of this video, there's tons of videos of these guys flexing the money. HD quality from the guy that actually shot X, Michael Boatwright, his phone. And apparently while these videos were being shown in court, he's laughing. So what I want to happen to this guy, I can't even say on YouTube. <laughs> this man looks so over it. He knows he's getting life, bro. So your item number 40 is the swab of this mask, correct? Yes. So safe to say, the higher the number in the statistic, the more rare it is. Correct. And sometimes if you'll reach numbers that are higher than a million? Correct. Okay. So the swab of this mask, what was the identification that you made regarding that? Okay, so the DNA profile that I got from that specific mask was a mixture of two people. So that means two people's DNA was mixed together into my sample, right? They legit got this man's DNA from skin touching a mask. That's unreal. Um, Diedrich Williams is consistent with the resolved major profile. The chances of randomly selecting an unrelated individual consistent with that major profile from the evidentiary sample is rarer than one in 400 billion. Okay. <laughs> Oh, one in 400 billion. However, we do actually calculate the true statistical value. And in this case, the true statistical value was uh, was rarer than one in 831 octillion. Okay, let's wrap our brains around this. What is, how do we, how, what is that number? Wait, one? one in 800 octillion. I didn't even know that number existed. Rarer than one in one... 831 octillion. Okay, so get us there. How do we okay. wrap our brain around that? So, if we talk about numbers, so we, we can start with hundreds, right? That's the first three zeros. Hundreds, then you have thousands. Uh, millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, quintillions, sextillions, septillions, octillion. So that is how large that number is in rarity. They're done for. They're absolutely done for. Holy shit. Diedrich Williams that matches to this. In terms of, so there's like that many zeros. Oh, that's Diedrich. Diedrich's DNA. He's not even one of the uh, gunmen. Only one individual in this mask. Let's see who's in this mask. It was a single source individual person. And in this case, um, they were consistent with Michael Fulbright. Mm. And the chances of randomly selecting an unrelated individual consistent with the evidentiary sample is rarer than one in 400 billion. Michael Bert writes DNA in the mask, but apparently he was at home sleeping. Remember, guys? That's what uh, his alibi is. He was at home sleeping but his phone and dna is on a mask that was found but he was at him sleeping um it's 929 9 million i don't think i've ever heard that number before get us there how do we wrap our, ra our brain around that? okay so again hundreds thousands millions billions trillions quadrillions quintillions sextillions septillions octillions nine million so it's um so it'd be this is so good this is such a good breakdown these fuckers dna is on this shit and there's no chance it was no one else in these masks am i correct that you compared the known dna standard of michael boatwright to item 21 swabs of necklace. I did. And am I correct that you excluded Michael Boatwright from item 21? I did, yes. Michael Boatwright didn't reach in for the necklace. He just shot X. He was barely reaching in. Of course, his DNA is not going to be on the necklace. They think just because their DNA is being excluded from the chain that they're innocent. No, bro. They're trying to show reasonable doubt that they were even there, but it's like, bro, there's other evidence they were there. Just because their DNA is not on X's chain doesn't mean they're innocent. So basically the lady that does the DNA showed that Diedrich and Michael's DNA are in masks and the lawyers pretty much did absolutely nothing. So this guy works for the Broward County uh, Sheriff's Office. He does all the phone shit too. So we're about to see some uh, phone data right here. Ah, so look at 3.56 p.m. right here. Michael Boatwright's phone was right in the area of the bike shop in Deerfield Beach. Hmm, but he was at home sleeping apparently, I remember boys. Where Regal Motorsports is at the intersection sample and North Dixie Highway. Uh, this one here is uh, the same type of thing. This is from uh, Williams's home. Uh, this one is Boatwright's residence on Northwest 15th Street. This one is Mr. Newsom's residence on Northwest 10th Place. This man lives all the way down in this area, Boatwright, the main shooter, and the Reva's all the way up here. How did he think he was going to get away with this? His phone's all the way up here within minutes of the fucking murder. You're done for, bro. So you'll see here that this looks more like a uh, GPS track. Bro, Diedrich Williams, his phone, same shit, bro. They Phones are scary. Look at how much they're tracking you, bro. Oh my God, these guys went to rob people in a rental car with their phones on them and one of them shot and killed someone and they thought they were going to get away with it and then took fucking videos of the money, dude. So X's car is about to leave and he gets pulled in front of right here at 3.56 p.m. That's right when Boatwright's phone leaves. But remember, he was at home sleeping. Shortly after the homicide, uh, both of the phones um, traveled down the repair to go to Mr. Allen's residence. Any you connect Bluetooth activity for Mr. Boatwright's phone during that time? Yes, there's an entry here, the third one from the bottom. And this entry was very important because it shows that the Bluetooth connected at 3.25 p.m. on the 18th. And if you recall from the prior slides, that's the same time that Mr. Boatwright and Mr. Williams' phones are leaving Mr. Williams' residence. And in that 
connection doesn't disconnect until 428 33 p.m. Oh my god, they can track Bluetooth on your phone connecting to your car. And Michael's phone connected at 325. Then he killed X at 356. And then it disconnected at 428. But remember, he was at home sleeping, apparently. Holy shit, he's toasted. He's done for. This jury's gonna put him in jail for the rest of his life. Uh, this is a screenshot of a search that was done on Mr. Boatwright's phone at approximately 5 11 p.m. So right after the homicide occurred. This guy screenshotted it. Think about how insane this is. He shot X. An hour later, he looks up the story and screenshots it and texts it to someone. Eventually cuts off the, uh, the victim's vehicle. The two phones remain together the entire time at Rima Motorsports based on the GPS location. In the same area, yes. Okay. <laughs> and now we're looking at the departure, which is just before the homicide. The phone is still connected to the Bluetooth during this time. Yes. While we see a shooter about to shoot the victim and Mr. Uh, Williams is still, is still in that location as well. They keep objecting shit, but the judge is like, overruled. All right, boys, so now we're about to see more high-quality cringe photos and videos of them flexing X's money. It's insane that these guys did this, and this is like really high-quality shit from Michael Boatwright's phone, so. And this photograph was, uh, <laughs> tell us about the metadata from this. Ugly ass. Why are you flexing his teeth like you got a grill in? You ain't got no grill in. All right, boys, you're about to see Michael Boatwright, the gunman that shot X, flexing his money within 24 hours after murdering him. Lock him up, boys. <laughs> Bro, what, what is that called? That setting on your phone that fucking uh, takes a video of your pictures or whatever? That's what this is. How many fucking videos are there? Co-defendant Dietrich Williams home. Correct? Correct. Okay, and this is uh, just a little over 24 hours after the victim was killed? Oh, no, it's my thing. Be angry. Stupid. So cringe. Who's that? Is that Trayvon? Big boy flex the money. Oh, hell nah. Robert Allen, the snitch, flex the money. People got bothered by me calling him a snitch. I'm just trying to make it more clear for people to understand that he's snitching. Like, it's just easier to call him a snitch. I would snitch too. I'm a civilian. I wouldn't put myself in this situation, first of all, but I would snitch too. I'm not saying I would never snitch. Like, trust me, I would. I'm snitching. Precious 5K he got. <laughs> that was terrible. That was just terrible. But they had no remorse. Like, think about this. They know at this time X is dead. And they're flexing his money and laughing and giggling and doing dumb shit. Like, fuck these guys. Literally put them in a jail cell and throw away the key. How many videos do these guys take? Oh my god. There's more. There's more after this. You're so cringe. You're locked up for the rest of your life, fucker. How's it feel? You never even got to spend the money, dumbass. Never even got to spend the money. Damn shame. El Bozo. El Bozo's in chat. In the video, he was laughing, and I just want to point out on the record, he was also laughing in court at his own murder trial. <laughs> on the record that Mr. Boatwright was laughing in court and smiling at his own videos in court, um, specifically the videos that were taken immediately after the homicide when he was flashing. The guy that shot X was laughing while those videos were being put in the courtroom. There's no way. Dude, fuck this guy. Like, I'm so mad, dude. I'm actually triggered. Like, this just triggered me. All right, so that's it for the past two days of the trial. We got phone data tracking these DNA of them wearing masks and them laughing at their own videos in court. Absolutely zero remorse. They need to be put in jail for the rest of their lives. Subscribe for my Twitter and Instagram. Love you boys. Peace out.